Okay, this video is gonna look at motion. This is the first dot point for the critical question, how do biomechanical principles influence movement? Now your syllabus for this dot point asks you to learn about the application of linear motion, velocity, speed, acceleration, moment, and momentum in movement and performance contexts. The learn two to go along with this asks you to apply principles of motion to enhance performance through participation in practical workshops. So we're gonna start with some linear motion. Linear motion is movement in a straight line. Uh, it is not general motion, which is motion uh, where your limbs are moving in order to propel your body forward. Uh, this is motion where your body is stationary as it moves. So the more general motion is in a straight line, the better performance will be in events such as a 100 meter sprint, okay? But linear motion, uh, is more like the snowboarder who has a static position and is uh, going straight down the hill, uh, or a ski jumper who is in the same position landing uh, as they go straight down the hill as well. Uh, so they're not moving their limbs. It's not general motion, this is linear motion. It might be uh, the swimmer who pushes off the wall as well. Next we come to velocity. Now velocity is the velocity is the displacement of an object over time and includes direction. Uh, higher levels of velocity are advantageous in racing sports and are particularly useful in describing ball movements in sports as it takes into account uh, the direction of movement. Uh, so for example, uh, in cricket when you're bowling a ball, uh, that ball has both a vertical uh, movement and a horizontal movement uh, and sometimes uh, it can have movement in three different planes. So it's really important that we have direction associated with the description of that movement. Speed is our next one. Speed is the distance covered by an athlete in a, specific, in a specified time. Uh, so it is different to velocity. Um, and so you, if we have, think of this in terms of an example, so velocity is displacement, whereas speed is the distance covered. So if you think of the 400 meter race, from start to finish, an athlete's velocity is zero because their displacement hasn't, they haven't moved anywhere, they're back at the beginning. Whereas their speed, uh, it will be very different uh, because they have covered 400 meters. And so speed is a better measure there, uh, not velocity. Uh, it is advantageous in performance to have high speeds, particularly in races, but also in many invasion games as it allows you to uh, run around an opposing player or to win a race. Now acceleration is a change in velocity. So this can be both a change in linear motion or it can be a change in direction. Uh, it occurs due to a new force acting upon the object, whether that be generated by the object, like a human being uh, using their muscles to change direction, or whether it be uh, generated by something external, such as someone who is gonna tackle the player. It is essential uh, in, to have good acceleration in order to have good agility. And agility really has a great impact on performance in various ways, uh, because it allows you to change direction at speed in response to a stimulus that you don't know is coming up. It allows you to step players, beat players, defend better, all kinds of things. Uh, you can have both uniform and varied acceleration. Uniform acceleration is a constant acceleration, so there's a constant force acting upon the object or the body, such as gravity in shot put. Uh, you can also have uh, varied acceleration, where there's various or random forces acting upon them, such as being tackled in rugby league, or a football player weaving through and past a defender. Momentum is the measure of an object's motion and is calculated by multiplying the object's mass by its velocity. It's a vector because it has both direction and magnitude. With momentum, a larger object that's moving at the same velocity as a small object will have greater momentum. Now, it is this is because it requires a greater force in order to get that uh, larger mass to move, uh, and therefore it's gonna require a larger force to stop it. Okay, so that's the momentum. The momentum is the fact that, that object, once you've applied that force to it, it now carries that force with it until something uh, acts against it to reduce that that, um, mo that movement from that's been caused by that force. Uh, it's particularly important for contact sports where momentum needs to be stopped. Uh, so for example, in rugby union, when a forward is running at a fullback in order to stop movement, the fullback uh, will often aim to change the velocity in a downwards direction uh, this allows them to use the ground to stop momentum rather than themselves. Whereas if they go for a straight on uh, tackle, they're likely just to be run over the top of.